Hi guys, it's Rihanna the Math Person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this problem, I'll be going over question 133 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assume you're attempted, let's just dive right in. So this question says, a man purchases a life insurance on his 40th birthday. If he dies before 50, the insurance pays $5,000. And if it they live longer than 50 years old, they pay $0. The length of the lifetime and years of from birth of a male born the same year as the insured has a cumulative distribution function of this thingy right here. And calculate the expected payment under this policy. So then the, the expected payment, they only get the expected payment if they live between 5,000, 40 years old and 50 years old. So the probability that they live between 40 and 50. But then given that this person already lives 50 years, given that this person is greater than 40. And then this just becomes a pretty easy problem because they give you the um, cumulative distribution. We know that the probability that x is greater than 40 is the same thing as 1 minus the CDF of F40. So that's going to be 1 minus F40. And the numerator, if we're looking for the range between 40 and 50, it's just going to be the CDF for 50 minus the CDF for 40 to get the range that we want, which is the 40 to 50. Okay, so now this is a pretty simple problem then now. The denominator, you're going to get 1 minus 1. Two negatives make a positive. E to the 1 minus 1.1 1 .1 to the 40 divided by 1,000. And this one right here is going to be 1 minus e to the 50, which is 1 minus 1.1 1 .1 to the 50th power divided by 1,000 minus 1 plus e to the 1 minus 1.1 1 .1 to the 40 divided by 1,000. Ooh, that's a mouthful. But we can simplify it before we plug it into the calculator. We can say this is equal to e to the... 1 minus 1.1 1 .1 to the 40 divided by 1,000 minus e to the 1 minus 1.1 1 .1 to the 50 divided by 1,000 divided by, this cancels out, so you get e to the 1 minus 1.1 1 .1 1 to the 40th power divided by 1,000. So then this is equal to, on the denominator, you're going to get 0 0.9567. And on the numerator, you're going to get 0 0.0667. So this divided by that number equals approximately equal to 0 0.0695. But again, we have to make sure we multiply it by 5,000 here. 5,000 times this probability. So times 5,000. This is equal to 347.95, which is approximately equal to 348, our answer B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!